Hi friends, good morning. I have provided the payment business analyst training for student and corporate people. In case you would like to join the course, please approach for me at Tamil Business Tech News at the rate of gmail.com. In this video, let us me talk about MT192 request for cancellation message. What are the content should be available in my PPT? Purpose of the message, scope of the message, simple example flow, MT192 mapping details, request for cancellation codes. These are the details should be available in my PPT. Why we initiate for the MT192 request for cancellation message? In case debtor initiate the transaction mistakenly, on the time they initiate for the MT192 request message. Same payment has been initiated from twice. In case any kind of fraudulent activity should be found out for the specific transaction, on the time the cancellation request should be initiated. Purpose of the MT192 message. Sender need to cancel the request, payment request on the time they are initiate the request before it script the amount to the beneficiary hand. Okay, it should be work all the phases. Ordering customer initiate the transaction via ordering institution. Ordering institution uh, send the message to the sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, intermediary account with institution and beneficiary institution. Okay, in all the phases, the record for cancellation message should be work. Order, ordering institution can able to cancel the request from sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, intermediary account with institution, any kind of phase, but that amount should not be credited to the beneficiary hand. Once the amount should be credited to the beneficiary, the beneficiary kept out the amount on the time we cannot able to cancel the request. What purpose they are initiated for the MT192 request for cancellation? The corporate people or individual person, they think about the transaction initiated by mistake or twice or the fraudulent transaction by they make the mistake in the transaction on the time they initiate for the MT192 request for cancellation message. Suppose in case they initiate the request for cancellation message, they can able to get that referral number and uh, what kind of action should be taken for the specific uh, transaction. All the details they can able to get from this MT192 request for cancellation message. Already I said that why it's needed. Debstar send the payment mistake on the time they initiate for the MT192 request for cancellation message same payment has been initiated for the twice or any kind of technical error fraudulent activity happened for the specific transaction on the time the mt192 request for cancellation message should be initiated here i will provide for the simple example flow okay in case the creditor they initiate for the mt191 mt101 payment initiation message after it's come to that uh, debtor agent bank it's convert the mt193 transaction message after it's go to that uh, creditor agent okay uh, again, it's sent to the finally creditor. Okay, this is for the positive flow. In case debtor they think about the transaction should be initiated uh, wrongly or by mistake they initiate the transaction, the transaction should be initiated twice. Any kind of fraudulent activity they find out the transaction, they initiate for the MT192 request for cancellation message. Already I said that debtor can able to cancel the MT192 message any kind of uh, institution. Okay, in case the fund should be transferred for the debtor agent or intermediate agent, creditor agent, they can able to cancel the transaction. In case the fund should be credit to the creditor and the creditor uh, take the amount. Okay, on the time you cannot able to do the payment cancellation because the fund should be credit to the creditor. Creditor already take the amount. Remaining all the phases we can able to work with the MT192 message. We can able to cancel the payment any kind of phase ordering institution, sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, account with institution, intermediary, all the ways you can able to cancel your payment. Once you cancel the payment, you need to get the response, right? Because the fund should be refund your account or not. Uh, that response should be transferred for the MT196 message. This is for the simple example flow. Once again, I will tell that debtor initiate the payment via MT101. After it's come to the debtor agent, debtor agent prefer the message with either the MT103 or MT202 cover. Once the amount should be pro, uh, same, credit transfer message should be processed to the creditor side. Okay, in case the debtor think about that transaction should be initiated wrongly, they initiate for the MT192 cancellation request. They get the response from this MT196 message. This is for the payment cancellation flow. Already said that. What is the scope of the message? How it should be worked like that? Scope of the message. In case you need to initiate the MT19, MT192 message, you need, to, you need to payment reference number. Okay, before, in case you initiate, you need to cancel your transaction, you need to previous transaction reference number. Because without previous transaction reference number, you cannot able to cancel your tra previous transaction. So what are the details required? 
payment details, payment reference number, previous transaction reference number, which transaction you need to cancel, the transaction reference number, it's required, currency and amount, date of the payment, all the details should be required. MT192 is a structural content message, okay. Uh, it's provided all the structural details, okay. How much amount should be cancelled, uh, previous transaction reference number, which which message uh, which uh, message should be cancelled, wh why they cancelled, any duplicate message or fraudulent activity, why it's cancelled, all the details, it should be provided for the MT192 message. MT192, MT192, MT292 cancellation message, you can able to see that field 79 why the specific transaction should be cancelled either the fraudulent activity or technical error or the transaction should be initiated duplicate all the details you can able to say that field 79 you can able to use for the mt192 cancellation message direct payment as well as the cover cover payment mt1103 and cover mt202 cover both the message you can able to do the cancellation next m mt192 it's used for the support automation cancellation process you can able to raise the regulatory question, standard inquiry of code, all should be used, okay. Based on the code, field 79, they provide the code, whether the transaction should be cancelled, duplicate or technical or fraudulent activity. Based on the code, you can able to understand why the specific transaction should be cancelled. MT192 message, we always called as an urgent message because we need to cancel our request, payment request. Because so we do the process very urgent manner. Because once it's go to the debtor side, once it go to the creditor side, the amount should be taken from the creditor. You cannot be able to cancel your transaction. So MT192 always we called as an urgent message. It's a high priority message. Whenever the debtor initiate the cancellation request, it should be flow very fast to uh, next financial institution to another financial institution. It's always high priority message and it's considered as the urgent request also. Whenever you initiate the MT192 message, you get the response from this MT196 or MT296 based on the response you got it. Whenever you initiate the MT192 cancellation request, you need to response it. That response should be triggered as a MT196 or MT296. Next, already we discussed about direct banking transaction. Direct banking transaction in this scenario, never ever involve for the many kind of um, um, sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, intermediate bank. The, both the bank, sender bank and receiver bank, they have a direct relationship. On that time, sender bank initiate the transaction and uh, tra sender bank initiate the transaction, uh, receiver bank credit the money. In case the, the ordering customer uh, think about the transaction should be initiated wrongly or at, uh, by mistake, they initiate for the cancellation request, the payment should be uh, refund to that ordering customer. So look on this, 20 is a transaction reference number, 21 is a transaction reference number, In the, 20 is a center reference number, 21 is a transaction reference number. In this transaction reference number, which transaction you need to cancel? That, num that number should, what message it's come, MT193 or 202, that message details also come. After it's come to the 21, yes, it's for the initiation time. And the 79, you can able to see that why the message should be cancelled. In case of duplicate message or fraudulent message or technical error, why it should be cancelled, you can able to see this example. Take down this same example. We now need to send 15k AUD to Rahul. We now we know have an account in SBI Bank. Rahul have an account in Citibank UAE. Both the bank have a direct relationship. Okay. Uh, we know initiate the transaction. It's go to the uh, Citibank UAE receiver bank. We know predict the transaction need to be cancelled in case they initiated by mistake or any kind of fraudulent or uh, the transaction should be initiated twice. Vinesh, in, we know initiate for the MT192 cancellation request. Okay, the transaction should be cancelled. They can able to get for MT196 response message. This is for the direct banking relationship. This we called as an indirect banking relationship. Indirect banking relationship means sender bank and receive bank. They don't have a direct relationship. On that time, the sender correspondent, receiver corresponding, intermediate bank, all the banks should be involved. Why? What they happen? Okay, we know need to send a 15k AUD to Rahul. Okay, uh, we know uh, we know we know have a account with the SBI India. Rahul have a account with Citibank AE. But the but both the both the bank have don't have a direct relationship. So the reason they are approaching for the sender correspondent, receiver correspondent bank. We know have a account with SBI India. SBI India approach for the sender correspondent bank, ICC India. Central Correspondent Bank approach for the uh, Receiver Correspondent Bank 54A FAB Faust Abu Dhabi Bank. Receiver Correspondent Bank holding the account with Receiver Bank Citibank EIE. This is for the relationship flow. 
we know initially the MT do not to cover payment. It's go to the sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, receiver bank, and finally it's go to the uh, beneficiary side. Okay. What do you think about Vinod? I initiate the transaction wrongly, incorrectly, or the, by mistake, the initiate the transaction twice. He sent the MT192 cancellation request. First, we know send the MT192 cancellation request to ordering institution. Ordering institution transfer the MT192 cancellation request to sender correspondent, sender correspondent to receiver correspondent, receiver correspondent to receiver bank. This is for generic flow. Okay, how the MT192 should be flow. The ordering institution can able to cancel the uh, cancel the payment from sender correspondent itself, or the receiver correspondent itself, or receiver bank itself. Any phase of okay in this flow, first bank or second bank or third bank, any phase you can able to cancel the payment and you can able to can, uh, get the response for MT196 uh, cancellation response request. In case the amount should be created to the beneficiary, Rahul. Rahul, Rahul kept that amount on the time you cannot able to cancel the request before it's worked for all the phases. This is for one kind of sample uh, example 192 message. 20 we called as a transaction reference number. 21 we called as the which message you need to cancel. That you need to understand right. That should be come for 21. 21. Suppose you initiate the transaction, okay. That you need to initiate the transaction previously. That transaction need to be cancelled. On the time you provide the previous transaction reference number with reference number from field 21. After you can able to see that uh, payment initiate payment initiation request creation date and why it should be cancelled because it's a duplicate message. So we mentioned this field 79 is a duplicate and 121. You can able to see that UTR reference number. Next screen, we will talk about cancellation recent code. Why? What kind of recent code you can able to get for cancel the transaction? AM09, wrong account number. In case the sender provide the wrong beneficiary account number, on the time the transaction should be cancelled. Co cover, cover transaction need to be cancelled. Any kind of fraudulent activity or its transaction should be initiated twice like that. Incorrect currency, I, as I mentioned the incorrect currency in my payment instruction, on the time I need to cancel the, rec cancel the payment. In case as a customer, I need I, I feel to cancel my payment, I can able to do that. In case the cancel upon unable to apply. In case any kind of fraudulent activity or find out or I need to cancel the payment from in between the time on the time I initiate for the CU to A. Cancel upon unable to apply. Duplicate duplicate payment. In case the payment should be initiated twice on the time I use for the DUPL cancel recent code. Fraudulent transaction. In case the transaction should be find out the fraudulent transaction on the time they stamp as a FRAD. Take technical problem. The transaction should be faced any kind of technical problem on the time they stamp as a TEC. And undue payment. The payment is not justified on the time they stamp as a UPAY. This is all the recent code. Okay, these, these cancellation recent code only it's stamped when the when your response. Suppose you cancel the payment, you get the response. That response they stamp as these kind of recent codes. This was a sample message already I said that 20 is a uh, center reference number, 21 is a transaction reference number for the previous transaction, 11S is a uh, date transaction initiation date, 17 is a uh, it's provide why the transaction should be cancelled in any duplicate or fraudulent or unable to apply like that. You can able to see that okay. And next slide all I it's a common uh, practice okay M2 to MX okay. C20 is a center reference number instructing inst instruction identification we called as XML. 21 is a transaction reference number, TXID transaction identifier, 13C is a time indication, we called as settlement time indication, 23B is a banking operation code, we called as a um, inter interbank settlement codes, 23 is a instruction code, instruction code for critter agent, validate currency code and amount, in interbank settlement amount, ordering customer we called as a debtor, ordering institution we called as a debtor agent, sender correspondent we called as a instructing agent, receiver correspondent we called as a instructor agent, intermediary we called as a intermediary agent, Account with institution we called as a critter agent, beneficiary institution we called as a critter, beneficiary we called as a critter, sender to the information we called as a instruction for next agent or big up information. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly subscribe your kindly subscribe this channel and provide your support.